Um, I don't think the flash is on. How do I figure that out? I'm trying to do a live on a new phone. I have this huge two boxes here for this new reborn toddler box opening. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and debating if I was going to film. And I've been having some internet issues and stuff. Like uploading on the new devices takes some time. So I was like, hmm. Hi. So I said, I'm going to go live. I haven't really seen people do reborn box openings live. So I was like, yes. Hey. Okay. So I'm trying to see how to turn on the flash here because I want to make sure we're getting pr plenty of lighting. I can turn on another light here too. There we go. Maybe if I, let me see. Okay, enable flash. All right. Is that clearer so you guys can see it better? Just trying to cover up the labels. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Sarah. I know it's late, but I was like, some people can watch it on the replay. But I just, I was like, I want, I've been waiting days for this baby. It's been here for a couple days, and I'm like, I want to. So, the story of this baby quick, it's a toddler. I saw it on eBay. Hopefully my notification is coming through, isn't cutting me out. Well, I saw this toddler. I keep hearing eBay. Do you hear the notifications going off on the same device? Because it's not going off on the other device I'm going to try and use for, um, so I can see the comments versus the so one I'm filming here. Comments. Whoops. Turn the volume off. Where am I from? Oh, Roxanne, sorry. Can you guys hear? I keep getting like um, notifications from eBay. I don't know if you guys can hear that. All right. So. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to turn notifications off on this new phone. I'm sorry. Hopefully, it'll stop because this new phone shouldn't be doing that. But I haven't powered this new one on. So, I think it's just kind of picking up a couple of updates. It must be like things on eBay are getting at the end of bidding. But... Try not to bid. So anyways, the back store. Oh, that's driving me nuts. <laughs> I'm going to have to take everything else off this phone and just use it for filming. And that's normally what I do. Just put YouTube on a phone. But this was a new phone, so it, like, it brought everything of my other apps with it over. You know what I mean? So anyways, the story of this baby. I was on YouTube and I was just looking at Reborns and stuff. Just kind of browsing. Wasn't really searching. And, um, I saw this toddler. I am from Vermont. That's why, um, in my channel name, it says Sassy VT Mom. But other, a lot of people think, because of YouTube, they'll get it mixed up sometimes and think TV Mom. And I'm like, yeah, I can see that. But, um, so anyways, the ladies, uh, I was bidding, bidding, bidding from the beginning, it was a really reasonable price. I mean, very reasonable. And I sent her a message and she agreed to end the auction early as me the highest bidder. I was like, oh my goodness. And I didn't even look at her, see her response. And I see in my, you know, to pay for one items that I had to pay for. And I was like, oh my goodness. So the seller's in Maine and she's like, I'll ship it right out tomorrow. And I talked about, you know, just diapering the head, wrapping it up safely. And she's like, no, I'm going to go out and shop. She's like, I'm not going to ship it out today. I'm going to ship it out tomorrow because I want to go shop for it. And I was like, oh, my goodness, that's so thoughtful. So the tape on the top, I just peeked the tape a little bit. And I see there's gifts in there. And I was like, this is like a full, full 
um, you know, box opening, like a deluxe box opening. I was like, oh my goodness. So this is an older scope that's very hard to find. I do have another toddler that's, there's like four made that are kind of like a quadruplets or triplets. They made three or four. Oh my goodness, that eBay notification thing's driving me nuts. So anyways, I had a box here too uh, of some items that I bought from eBay and Amazon for the Reborns. So I was like, I'll open those too. So we're going to open these quick. So these ones were from, I also do AliExpress. So this was from eBay though. So I got these headbands, which is like that... These are the really soft, almost like nylons, you know, like knee-high material. I call them ouchless, you know what I mean? Like, on a real baby. So there's three different headbands here, and they're really pretty. Because this baby's hair is amazing. So she's like, I don't know if you want it as a girl or a boy. So she's like, I shopped for both. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So we're going to have to decide after I open it if it's going to be a boy or a girl. So, then I got these three, which this one is their bow, and there's like a tool bow with little um, pearls and stuff, and that had me thinking, man, I haven't made my tutus in a while, and I'm like, I gotta get to making some more hair headbands and stuff, and I have a lot of different accents and stuff, so I'm like, so, and then this one's three flowers. I also realized I have a giveaway that I haven't even drawn the winners for. For the two customized, I had them made. They're customized blankets, and they say Reborn Mom. And I had a girl one and a boy one, and you had to say in the comments, you know, be subscribed and all that. But say in the comments, girl or boy. So, and then I'm going to share that on my community post. Because I had forgotten about that, and I'm like... And I hadn't got that many entries, and I'm like, I'm going to have to draw this. So, I want to get that drawn and get that sent out, because I got two or three more giveaways to put up, so. An interactive one, too. But then I got the one I think is really cute, because I have um, a lot of unicorn outfits and stuff, and this one's rainbow. And then this one is actually, like, suede rope. And I have a lot of suede rope, but I never thought to do that. And then this one's a multicolored flower. So I have so many headbands. I need to make some more of the ribbon holders that I put on the wall. All right, so I'm going to stick those aside for a second. And then we got some Nook Passies. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't... Okay, well, she... Oh, no, this is stuff that I bought. We haven't even got in to the big box yet. This box weighs 17 pounds. Or no, it's a, yeah. Dimension weight, 17 pounds. And this is actual weight, 12 pounds, 8.4 ounces. So she must have paid for 17 pounds. The box is 20 by 14 by 10. And this box is huge. Alright, so the last thing. All right. Oh, and I got this. I took it out of the wrapper. From Amazon. It's cute little bunny lovey, but I like how it sits. It has little etching all around it. I have so many loveys. I need to get like a little bin thing just around the loveys. Alright. And I thought it would be funny because I wanted to make sure they shipped this separate, which I am no longer with Amazon, but we'll go. I gotta watch addresses here. Oops. I, I wanted to make sure they shipped this separately and not with like food and everything. So, it says, you know, you do the gift note. I was being a smart, I, so I did it as a gift. And it's, Dear Reborns, I thought this was so sweet for your car seat. Enjoy your gift. Love your mommy, Sassy. <laughs> so, I made sure that they sent it separate. So, I did. I found some sellers selling this on eBay, but it was so overpriced, this brand, and I found them. One seller on Amazon, 
or I think even Amazon, yeah, I think it was Amazon itself, yeah, because it was shipped by Amazon. And it's Petite Lamar for a baby brand. And it's this sweet, I love that chevron, big blanket, and then it has like, oh, that eBay thing is going to drive me nuts. I didn't know that was on there. I would have uninstalled it. So, um, I wish I could just hit silence notifications. But it's like soft on the other side too, like fuzzy. And then it comes with this little elephant neck holder. But you can also do this with like um, a little tink baby. You know, littler babies, you can use it as like a dressing boppy and lay this out too. That notification, oh my goodness, I know I don't have that much eBay stuff going on. See, like when something's ending in the next hour, like it sends it like every 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something. But it's driving me nuts. But now the best part, who's ready to get into the baby? Can I see a thumbs up? Can I get a Yahoo or a like? Or <laughs> Can you put a heart in the chat? Let's uh, get into this baby. The best part, huh? All right. So this baby actually has been here, like I said, a few days. And it arrived. It came from Maine. And I'm in Vermont. So it's, it stayed in New England. Why am I struggling when I got my little box cutter here? I see some thumbs up and um, like I said I got upcoming giveaways so make sure you guys I have one going on now but I got some more so I plan on doing a lot of fun things so make sure you hit that subscribe button because one is going to be an interactive doll one okay the gift tag is stuck to the tape. All right, I just wanted to get the flap down so that for privacy of the seller and myself, but no extras are shown. Wow, this box is full. I'm gonna show you guys an overview of this box. This is this is my box cutter. It's so tiny, but I got these on Amazon, and it's. If you really press, like, it'll go back in sometimes, but they're so easy. And I'm going to, I do rainbow loom, so I'm going to make a little, um, like, a clasp thing. Put a key ring there and make a little, so I can hang it up and find it easier because I set it down because it's so little. And then I can't find it. I'm like, where's my box opener? All right. Oh, my goodness. So, I told her, I think between me and you guys and the fence post that this baby might be for my son, Jake, but he doesn't know that yet. Okay. So, and he's like, uh, the next room over and he's going, just going to sleep cause he's been up late cause it's the weekend. I let him sleep a little later, but so he doesn't know yet. <laughs> so the first, so I think she packed some of these things for him as well. So the first item is this really cute squishy cupcake. Okay, now it's going to reform. And then we have a squishy watermelon. I should have had like a bag or another box or something here to put this stuff in. I didn't even think about it. I guess I'm just going to use the kitchen chair sitting here. Okay. I'm just going to reach in and grab packages. Okay. We have this cute baby bag. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that eBay thing is driving me nuts. The first thing is this cute little kidlet brush set. So I know this brand you can get at Dollar General, I think it is, or Family Dollar, one or the other. Um, I know Family Dollar has a great deal on these, but who cannot use more little brush sets? Especially if it's going to him, you know what I mean, like have his own things for me. 
So I wanted him to do the box opening, but then he was tired. And I'm like, well, I'll check the baby out first and do the box opening. And then I can surprise him after. Okay, we have a next, another bag. This thing has got like gifts galore. Oh, we got some little cute Carter socks. I can tell you Carter's brand. Oh my goodness, I know eBay should not be going off that much. All right, so we have a magnetic passy. And this one is perfect for Halloween. It's dark purple with blue monsters nook. Then we have a blue chevron passy leash with glittered. There's like glitter on here. Tigger. I don't do Winnie the Pooh. I don't mind Tigger, but I'm not into Pooh. And this one has um, is magnified and is covered to protect. And then there's another... I know this one's at Family Dollar. I've seen it. It came, comes with this passy leash. Is a fox, and that one is a cup. Not sure. I know he takes a magnet. But I'm not sure if he... Uh, I can't remember if he does a modified. I'm sure he would. We will see. I'm going to be uninstalling on eBay. That is just like, I have a way to do this box. I'm not going to stop now, so... Are you guys still with me? I don't see anyone commenting after, oh yeah, it's two minutes ago, okay. All right, and we have a little PJ outfit here. Oh, this is so, <sighs> I'm about to like bust eBay. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about it. We're gonna know it's gonna go off before we're in the building, okay. So this is size 12 months. This is going to be snug though, I think. Look at these monster PJs. Is that not perfect for Halloween? There's the bottoms. And here is the top. And it says bouncing off the walls with all these little monsters. That is so cute. Here I made sure it was quiet for everything else. <laughs> oh my God. I can't win against either. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'm trying to feel. I thought that was like the baby's head, and I'm like, that's too squishy. That that's not a limb. Okay. There is so much stuff in here. Oh, look at this little guy. He is cuddly critters. It's really soft. Frog. Look at him. He's like ah. So we had a buddy to travel home with, and I don't know, oh, I feel a foot. Oh my goodness. I have a um, brand new set. I got Bambi, girl version, but I got Mickey and Minnie because I have the toddler of this girl of this, you know, set of sculpts. And I was like, if this one is a boy... It'd be so cute to put him in the matching Mickey and Minnie PJs. But look what he came home with. This really cute Mickey Mouse. It's the top. And then look at the pants. The pants have the Mickey Mouse striped down the side. It looks almost like little Nasher pants. Those are so adorable. And that's in size 12 months. Oh, so nice of her. Like, to go. I think there's one. And then she messaged me. She's like... I just seen her message. Did he make it home safe? And I'm like, oh my goodness. I haven't even opened him. I got to open him and message her back because she wanted to, you know, know that he was okay. All right, so we got this gift wrapped in this pretty pink glitter tissue paper. So, some Huggies, size five, over 27 pounds. So we got. Some big old huggies. I told you, he's going to be a big one. Nice five diapers. Oh, look at these shoes. Hold on, I'm going to take one out of the back. Size three. And they're the Rising Star brand. These little... Oh, that's good. 
these little and then it drops on the floor <laughs> can you hear me all right because i didn't use a lapel mic or anything oh i'm sorry i'm i'm like not even seeing the comments pop up on the screen here let me put them up here all messages visible there now i can see them Really? Live chat. There we go. My live chat wasn't on the one and I wasn't looking to the left because I'm trying to look at the box. So, okay. Hi, Laurie. Sorry I didn't see you come in. So, these cute little leather, like, or, you know, fake leather, pleather, what do you want to call them? But these little, like, Oxford little moccasins, those are so adorable. And his feet are wide. He's got some wide, thick, chubby feet. And my two older boys had the same kind of fake feet where they're like, you know, wide and thick. Oh my goodness, there's still more gifts in here. All right, we got one wrap in green glitter. Okay, I guess this is because she decided she was doing something I wanted, boy or a girl. So these really cute little hair clips. And this baby's got some beautiful hair. Alright, I'm going to like totally install leaving. <laughs> oh, look at I have, if I wanted to dress them both in the... Um, I have a pink Bambi outfit. PJs. And this one is the... Um, it says little girl, big roar. This is Nala, which is Simba's um, female little friend on Lion King. And we have a cat named Simba, and we have a cat named Fluffer. We have twin orange tiger cats from the same litter. Except one's a lot bigger than the other, and one, oh, <laughs> one talks a lot, and one doesn't talk. It's like opposite personalities. It's funny. We have a blue narwhal. Yeah, they're narwhals when they had the unicorn, right? Hi, Sarah. So, we have a squishy. Oh my goodness, there's still more stuff down here. Are you kidding? How many more packages? One, two. Look at this ice cream cone. I thought it was an eraser for a minute, but no, it's another squishy. Oh my goodness. All right, and then, wow. All right, so I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna take packages that are, aren't, aren't opened yet and the baby out of the box. And then we can see the baby better on the table here. Okay, I'm moving the box. Oh, he's a big one. Oh my goodness, he's a chunker. Okay. Three more packages, guys. Oh my goodness, she, like, spoilt this box. And this is, like, my sunroom door that goes out to my sunroom. So I was like, I don't have a background. <laughs> so, and, you know, it has curtains on it on the window and stuff, but I just, you know... Who wants to see like regular curtains? So I thought, oh yeah, I'll just take my snuggly and hang it over it quick. Well, I wasn't as focused in as I thought I was because then like I wouldn't be able to maneuver. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if they're by color because they're girl or boy or what, but this one's in red glitter. Let's see. I'm trying to open on camera here. Okay. This is a pair of Granimal's red little pants. These would be cute um, also at Christmas. You know, just get a little, uh, you know, you get separates. Where you can get like the cute little Christmas onesie or Christmas, like a Santa shirt. Looks like Santa. Has the little pants with it. Okay. We have a blue one here. Oh, girl blankie. It's like she thought of everything she got for boy or girl. 
And it's cute. It's got elephants and giraffes. Is it more than one? Oh, yeah, it's a two-pack. And then this one's floral. That's so sweet. I'm going to have to send her a thank you card. All right, I feel something soft in here. Hi, April. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I know you guys only saw a sneak peek for a second. I'm trying to fluff it up because it got a little squished. She went and got a Halloween plush. Look at this. It is a unicorn. Okay. Look at the sparkle. It reminds me of like the um, booze. We got beanie booze. Two by beanie booze. But it's a Walmart plush. And I haven't been to Walmart in a while. I send my mom where I buy the online orders. Jake wanted Play Doh today. And I looked at like big sets and stuff and I was like. And then I realized if I bought online to pick up in my store, to buy in store, it's like 98 cents for one little canister. And then it's like, I think it's like $5 for like $4 or something for three or what. I'm like, mm-mm. So if, then I had certain colors was 50 cents, certain colors were like $12. I'm like, what? So then I see it, it said random choice like random colors and I just added 10 of those to my cart and a couple of the things I needed and you know site you know store pickup and I called the store called site to store and they know me there so I was like can you just you know put a variant don't give me like 10 of the same colors and so they were nice enough they you know gave me a variant of colors that they had there and only 50 cents a thing of play-doh oh yeah so um I was like, that was cool. But uh, he's black and white, some other ones. But anyways, look at this unicorn. It's so soft. It's got rainbow mane and tail. And look at its belly. It's a skeleton. So it's like a Halloween punk rocker unicorn plushie. And that is so adorable. Hi, April. All right, who's ready for the baby? Who's ready for the baby? The best part at all, right? The grand finale. And I did not bring a brush. Why didn't I bring a brush? All right, I have a brush nearby. Because I don't think that baby brush is going to do it. <laughs> I really don't think that baby brush is going to do it. So I have this wet Sugar skull. Okay. Which I love the wet brand brushes. You ready to see the baby? He's a big um. I can't say like, I, you know, like, you know, people say reborn expecting I'm pregnant. I'm like, no, I'm adopting because this is a big old boy. He's a toddler. Okay. I'm ready too. I'm like so anxious. And I've had this box in my house for a couple days. And a lot of people say to me, how can you not? open it and it's like I don't let myself have anything until I've filmed it so it's my true reaction and I talk to some other people about doing it live and they're like no I wouldn't do it live and I'm like why and they're like well you could show your address I'm like I'm smart about that you know what I mean normally open the box from upside down but she had so much in there you know what I mean but I was like why not and then whoever doesn't get to see it live they can watch it on the replay, right? You know, it's just the fun you can interact. And then even on the live, you can say, oh, can I see more details on the face or the eyes? You know what I mean? That you can't in a video because someone would have to do a whole new video. Do you know what I mean? Comments. All right. So I'm going to have to move you guys a little bit. Tilt you down. I already know what outfit PJs is wearing. He is wearing... Cookie Monster PJs. I didn't know that he was going to be wearing dino socks, but I know. I got a tote down there. I need to. Okay. So she did send this new blanket. It's a um, animal prints. I believe you, yeah, you get these at the, uh, the Dollar Tree. And I get them. I'm going to send my mom so she can find some. Because my cats really love this. And I line their pet beds with them. That way you can just wash these. Instead of having to wash the whole pet bed all the time. 
for pet hair. It's easier. Okay. Now, I do know the nails are a little more pink than she said that she liked. But for the price I got, oh my goodness. So, I mean, they're not much. You can tell. But look at the size of this foot. And my real children, my two oldest, had feet this thick and even wider. Like baby shoes, I had to get... Oh, is it stride right? It's, yeah, and wide width and stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this chub knees. Chub around the knees. And as we're opening, if you guys can guess the sculpt. Now, these sculpts I've been collecting for over nine years. And they were just coming out then. About, about eight years ago so you can't get them and bountiful baby had these toddlers and they don't have them anymore they haven't had them for at least a couple years look at this chub knee little dimples in the knee you can see the blushing which you don't want a lot of blushing on a toddler look at, look at the little ankle what a chub chub where are those shoes Oh, I guess, well, yeah, I just want to see if, because that ankle's, I know on certain kits, um, it's the big, oh my goodness, the big chub, Joseph three month, Joseph, uh, yeah, the three month big chubby one, on the kit one foot turns in, so people can't put shoes on them, but that one's not turning that much, so I'm pretty sure, let me just check for a second. See if size that's the wrong shoe. I just want to see if size three is his true size. Because I know I have threes, four. I have all the way up to size nine in shoes because I have the masterpiece big tod big the toddlers and the big big kids. Yeah, see he's still got more room and being a soft shoe, it's a lot easier. Okay. So let's get to the best parts of the baby, right? Everybody wants to see the face and the hair. That's the best part. Okay. So she did wrap. Um, she said she was going to wrap him in a blanket and then put him in a plastic bag. But in diaper his head. But it looks like she diapered his limbs with pull-ups. Look, at he's like a mitt, big mitt man. <laughs> he's got a... Uh, I love dolls that don't have any reborn dolls. Hi, Southern Bell. I don't know why chat notifications aren't coming on. Here, here we go. Live chat. Hi, Missy. I know, I just got, um, about a, two weeks ago, activated my super chats, and I still don't know if those work. Still figuring all this out. All right, so has a pink and white chevron. Oh, now I can't see anything on the screen. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to move this phone where I can see your comments, maybe. There we go. I had to move the second phone over where I could see your comments because the one I'm filming on, you see the suit? Yeah, but I don't know if it works and I'm not gonna ask anybody to pay it to do it or whatever, but. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know if it's active. So he has three-fourths limbs and a jointed body. And he is weighted with the glass beads. And his limbs are pretty heavy. I might have to take some out because a lot of people, when they weight toddlers, you can hear it. When they weight toddlers, they'll put so much in. And what I find with the bigger babies... I mix, I put um, like the glass bead up a little past their ankle and then I'll do like the poly bead and then a little more glass and then poly and then cotton and then seal it. That way it's full, but it's not so heavy. You know what I mean? The poly takes up the poly pellets, the plastic ones take up the space, but not, um, but I have all the stuff to reweight them. All right, so we're going to have to turn him. 
Oh, I just heard the cat. I was like, what was that noise? All right, so one of his pull-ups just fell off with his arm, his hand. So like she said, the nails are a little more pink than she'd like when she got this baby. But I was like, for the price, that's not a big deal. And I can redo the nail tip, so it's not a big deal. But Or if I want it as a girl, can be a really girly girl. You know what I mean? So, oops, what are you seeing there? So the fingers are really flexy, really chub chub. Hi, Laura. And then here is the other hand. Really cute. And you see the dimples in the hand? My kids had those dimples in their hands. They still do. I do too, but they have more prominent. Wow, it looks like I need to put. You can tell I just did dishes tonight. Like, Don really gets to your hands. But um, the hands are really cute because you can put them together. But look at this outfit. Hungry Halloween Monster. And it's got Elmo and Cookie Monster. How adorable of an outfit, right? Okay. Now we're going to sit this big boy up. And I'm going to have to tilt the camera up. Look how big this Chubbs is. <laughs> it's so big. He's like, all right, I have a bag on my head. Get the bag off my head. Okay, this camera is not... Having so many technical difficulties. All right, that wasn't the... I gotta loosen the anchor thing. All right, what am I doing? Oh, wrong. Sorry. There we go. I had to loosen and tighten one of the joint things on the tripod. Can't you see? At least the eBay notification stopped, huh? All right. You ready? One, two. I think he's got a diaper head. Let me see. Yeah, we can see Mickey Mouse there. So he's got a diaper head. So one, two, three. Okay, we see a diaper head. But do you see the hair peeking through? Can y'all see what color hair that is? Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Can you imagine his hair? That's why I'm like, it could be a boy or a girl. Okay. Time. Okay, I got my brush here. I didn't bring out my Honest. I love the Honest brand. Um detangler spray. I didn't bring that out. All right, where are you taped? In the back? Velcroed. His head is so big that a size 5 diaper barely fits his big boy's head. Okay, who's ready for the moment of truth? We've all waited for it. Give me a heart or a like or a thumbs up or a yes or whatever in the chat. Give me an emoji. Let's open this baby. Anyone there? I see there's eight here. It says. Okay, we got some emojis. Any emoji you want. Well, just not a mean one, please. But you know what I mean. Are you ready? Okay, I don't want to get me in there. Why is it showing me in there? I have to tilt this more. Well, you're only seeing like a piece of my night uh, sundress pattern. Okay, one, two, three. You guys get to see me before I did. Oh my goodness! Adorbs, adorbs. It looks like a little Amish little boy. Oh my goodness! He is the kitten sculpt by donna rupert and i have uh, there's i know they made kitten they made cuddle oh goodness what's the other one cozy i think it, no cozy's the other one it's kitten cuddle i had them down the other night i i have one of the other ones 
the one with the tongue sticking out. I have her with a blonde hair wig just his. So I was like, oh my goodness. So his is a wig, but it is so silky. She said she wasn't sure if it was human hair or not, but I can tell this is high quality um, acrylic wig like the uh, Masterpiece dolls have. But you can see, let's look at his details. Come on, buddy, turn here. You are a chunk. Oh my goodness, you, you must weigh like 12 pounds. He's, here's his ear, one ear. And his cute little lips. So he could take a modified pacifier. But look at those eyes. The eyes and the hair got me. I was like, he is so adorable. And there's another ear here. And you can see that. Okay, the, I'm at the tack right here. The wig is coming up a little bit. But um, someone had started to root a long time ago. And then cut it. They didn't like it, you know what I mean? So, I think he looks so cute with a wig, though. He, um, let's show the back of his hair. See, it's like a little bob, but it's very thick. You know what I mean? And, yeah, he is Bountiful Baby 2010. Yeah, so he, this sculpt came out 10 years ago. So, he is hard to find. He, she, you know what I mean? Like, the kit. So, but the hair is just so easy to style. I'm going to grab a headband really quick. Because I've only seen him dress like this. So I see girl, I mean, boy, boy, boy. I'm going to say girl. All right, I'm gonna grab one of these headbands that I opened in the beginning. He's like, I'm just going off into space. What are you looking at, buddy? <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I see like a little Sam. He looks like, you know, just a little toddler. you so cute to prop with toys or put in the stroller for photos or let's see. Let's put, all right, that's kind of plain. That's just a purple one, but what you would look like. You gotta pull your hair up and under. I'm not doing this headband justice. Kind of an idea what you look like as a girl. <laughs> All right, maybe more off and to the side. He'd be kind of cute as a girl. He'd make a pretty girl. But I see boy. I really do. I see boy. What do you guys see? I mean, I know he's dressed in kind of boyish clothes right now, but the other one I have is a girl. So I'm like, I would want, I'm like, I want, you know, them I see him as a boy and I just want the art you know the seller was so amazing and I think my son would go crazy for him I probably have to lighten up the waiting but just to have a because he loves Harry Barnes and I was thinking you know as a Halloween present I was like what <laughs> but because you know we can't go trick-or-treating this year or whatever as a Halloween present to have his own buddy. You know what I mean? I am in the process. Let me move this down a little bit. In the process, um, I have to. I'm putting a Yoda on a cuddle body for him. I, I ordered a, and it arrived, a custom cuddle body for the Yoda. Which he already got a Yoda for his birthday. But he wanted one not on the cuddle body and then one on the cuddle body. So... That one I'm going to make him for Christmas. And then I'm making him a pug reborn for Christmas. A, was it a pug? A fawn? And I think a piglet. And we're having a Yoda Christmas. We're going to have a black Christmas tree. With like light lime green and silver. I'm thinking colors for the t garland and then like silver and green 
like different colors of green bulbs and like we make our own tie-dye paint pour ones and stuff so I was going to do like black green white gold different colored ones you know all marbled so we're going to have a Yoda Christmas tree this year we do a theme every year so I thought that would be fun um and I'm trying to think of you know different things to do for thing or not yeah for Thanksgiving <laughs> for Halloween. My mom's gonna make him a goodie bag. I'm gonna make him a goodie bag. Um, I'm gonna come on and do probably like a quick live and just let him show off what he gets for Halloween, uh, his costume. You know, because we can't go trick or treating and just say hi to everybody. And, like, we kind of had to do for his birthday. And um, then we're going to have, like, a movie night and pizza. He calls it Mommy Baby Movie Night. So we each take a reborn. Like, he has one of his babies. And then I take one of mine. And we'll cuddle up on the couch with fuzzy blankies and a movie and popcorn and treats and everything. And um, he loves Mommy Baby Movie Night is what he calls it. <laughs> So, and, you know, he's going to be a great, he's very empathetic to anyone. So he's going to be a great dad when he grows up. You know what I mean? So my other boys, even before Reborns, my second son, who's in his 20s, he had a girl baby, which was baby Heather, because it had a name after me. My name's Heather, by the way. A lot of people don't know that, but, um, and then... He had a boy one, baby Frank, after a family member. And since he was like three, he carried those babies. But I think it was because I had, when he was, he got really into babies when he was like, my middle son. Yeah, when uh, he was like four or five, because um, when he was three, I had... My first stillborn, and then when he was five, I had my second stillborn. So he expected a baby, didn't have one. So I think he bonded to dolls, my middle son. And then, you know, he got older and grew out of it. But Jake, because I've been into reborn since he was, what, four years old? And when I first got into reborns, people thought, you know, oh, are you doing it to replace the babies? And I'm like, no. Um, how I found reborns was actually by accident. Um, years before that, my mom had, for Christmas, had paid someone back when they were taking play dolls, you know, like a big baby doll from Walmart or, um, Kmart or whatever department store. And they would, this, this boy reminds me, his hair, it looks like a little Amish boy kind of, but his, look at the shine that hair his hair reminds me of like i can't think of the sitcom or something there's this little boy that has it's either a movie or something so if somebody thinks of it put it in the comments what he reminds you of but he is and his eyes oops his eyes are just they're just piercing you know so um If anyone has any questions, too, or if they want to see any other details on him, he's kind of sitting here with, like, his legs crossed. He's just, just, there we go, buddy. I'm trying to tilt you up there. Maybe if I back it up, we can get a full video, view of him. There you go. Almost all of him. He's so chub chub. So, um, I'm going to grab my other, I didn't plan that right. <laughs> phone so I can see the com all the comments better. Okay. Now I can see your guys' comments um, better. But um, if you'd like to see him, any other of his details or anything, let me know. But uh, what was I saying? No, I, um, I'm going to have like a Q&A. I think on my community post for people to get to know me better. Cause I was like, 
I've been on here for years, and no one, a lot of people don't even know my first name. You know what I mean? They just know me as Sassy or whatever. But um, thank you, Lori. I know he is. He is. He's going to be fun to dress. I just love this Mickey outfit, too. I'm a Mickey fan. I love Mickey, too, but Mickey has been my all-time for years. I used to have this big Mickey watch. With the black leather band. And I remember when my older sons when they were little. I took it and smashed it on me. Dropped it and it, uh, glass just shattered. And I couldn't never replace it. So I gotta. Uh, I've been looking at Disney and stuff like that. Disney store or Disney.com for years. But anyways. How I found Reborns was actually by accident. So my mother paid someone years before Reborns were popular. Like I said. To paint and try and make a play-doh look like a real baby and I was like mm, I really wasn't into it because I had just lost my daughter uh she was still born it was right before my due date and everything it was just so traumatic I just and I, I know she was doing it to be kind but I kind of just put it away in the closet he is the kitten sculpt by Donna Rupert and Bountiful Baby used to sell his in 2010. They had four, was it the triplets or the four? I think it was only three. It was Cozy, Kitten, and I know it's not Cozy, it's Cuddles, Kitten, and I can't think of the third one. I had it the other night too. Ladybug, that's what it was. And I have, I think it's Ladybug that I have. And it's not the Ladybug that I'm thinking of. The other one I have. No, I'm thinking Lulu. No, it's Ladybug, Cuddles, and Kitten. They were like the big three triplets. This was way before they made any of the other toddlers. So, in... Let me see, 2013, late 2012, yeah, I think it was late 2012, yeah, Jake would have been for it, it was like late summer of 2012 is when I found Reborns, never saw them online, didn't know anything about them, nothing, well, the, a local artist here in my town was having a yard sale. And she also ran a daycare. So my mother said, went to the yard sale and said, hey, you got to come see these babies. And I was like, what? She came over to my house, picked me up, and we went back to the yard sale. And she's like, this lady's selling babies. I'm thinking, what are you talking about? She runs a daycare and she's selling babies. I'm thinking, are you talking about black market? What's? I thought she was off her rocker. You know what I mean? So she had a table in her garage all set up with babies on boppies and everything. And I fell in love with the precious. Oh, goodness. I almost said precious moments. It's so late now. <laughs> the. Um... Is it precious gift? Yes. Uh, kit. And she had one done. And I was like in awe. And she was going to sell it to me. And I went home to think about it. And then she's like, no, I'm going to sell it for higher on eBay. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I ended up ordering. She told me about Bountiful Baby. I went on the website. And I ordered my first one from her, which was the Robin. I ordered my first four from her, all customs. I, I mean, from finding out about Reborn, seeing that I saw them in person, never knew about them. So I just, like, walked right into this hobby. You know what I mean? Like, literally... And, you know, to never know about them, just walk in and see them and hold them and everything. Um, and I like that because she was in town. She would, you know, call and say, hey, I'm bringing your baby. It was kind of like an adoption. And she'd buy a special little outfit. So, so I got the Robin kit with the tongue sticking out as my first baby. And then I wanted Kaylee. These are all Bountiful Baby. And, um... She was sold out. So then I got the Sugar Sculpt 
as a boy. And she only did painted hair. And then, but she does a fairly good job. I mean, here, what, eight years later or so? Yeah, eight, over eight years, nine years later. They look like I just got them yesterday. And they look better than most work today. It's amazing. And she only charged $200. And um, so then I ordered, Kaylee was back in stock, so I got her. And then I got her as a girl, so, or no, it was not in that order. No, it was Robin, oh yeah, Robin, Sugar, Kaylee, and then I liked the Gabriel sculpt. So I got him done as a boy, and he was my fourth one. And she always said, if there was something wrong or anything off that you want me to add or edit or, you know, whatever, and I noticed the sides of his hair you know, we're totally different. And I just want to ask her, you know, could you just add a little more painted hair there? Because it just didn't look right. So I kindly asked her about it. And she went off script. Like, she did not act like she normally did. And she was like, <sighs> literally polar opposite. Like, if you think you can get a reborn done for the prices I charge, blah, blah. I mean, I said, excuse me, I'm not complaining. I was just asking a question. You know, I was bewildered. So, needless to say, I never got any more from her. And she did me a favor because that got me out to looking on the internet. I found YouTube and went on YouTube. I started making videos. I have an older channel that um, I need to kind of merge some of those older videos over. And Jake's like really, really little. And I was like so scared on the first videos and stuff. It was funny. I'm still kind of, you know, everybody gets that anxious on videos and stuff. But oh my goodness, like just expanding meeting people everything and i'm lucky that i've only i think it's because i run a positive channel i've only seen the pot had the experience the positive side i've seen the negative side of the hobby or hobby but i think it's just the negative side of youtube in general because it's you can Actually, no, because I do beauty, too, and I don't really have a lot of negative in the beauty. I don't see it. I mean, there's a lot of beauty drama with the big beauty gurus, but not the creators. You know what I mean? Not the YouTube creators themselves. But um, but that's how I found uh, Reborns. I mean, I, I have a nursery. I have a couple nursery videos. I put them on my community post lately. So people could find them again. I need to do an updated one. But right now, in the middle of my nursery floor, my ex stacked. Yeah. Crow and I went from engaged to single. Yeah, that was a big change a couple months ago. But uh, <laughs> um, he stacked, like, when they had the Black Friday sales and everything before Christmas, I must have gotten... He bought me, like, I think 15, and I bought a bunch. So, and then I've bought some cents. So, I have, like, 25, probably, Paradise Gallery dolls stacked in their boxes. I like just the inner boxes, not the card, uh, the brown cardboard. I threw that away. But the regular inner boxes stacked. And then I just, over the last two months, just ordered, like, nine Adora dolls. So, you're getting in those. So I have to do all these unboxings. I don't let myself have anything until I do those unboxings. I just got my first Reborn. I have a lot of Ashton Drake and Paradise Galleries. I finally got a custom Reborn and want more now. Yeah, it's... You see, I, I've had good experiences and bad experiences with customs. Um, someone I trusted. She was a trusted artist. And my Saskia, she kind of rushed him at the end, but I'm grateful I got him because a friend of mine in my same state, we met online, 
She's a reborn collector too. She ordered a girl and I ordered a boy from the same artist at the same time. It's like she prioritized hers and not mine. And she, my friend even said, what's going on? But right after that, I mean, a well-renowned artist started scamming people, taking their dolls in for doing stuff. Or she'd say, oh, send me, you know, two, three reborns and I'll customize you one. She was getting all these and she was selling the ones that were people are sending her as a trade to make her one. And not even, oh yeah, she ripped, it's like, how do you do that? Like, how do you go from renowned, but she made like an $800 toddler. My, I call her Gretchen. And I, she offered it to me for like, I think 400, 500. And I had just paid off my Sask and everything. I'm like, nah. And it was, I was going out to dinner to Applebee's and my boyfriend at the time said, if you really want it, I'll pay for it. And I'm like, no, it was in November. I'm like, Christmas is coming. No, 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 no. It's too much. I said, another one will come up. I'll be in awe with, you know? And so she sold it to someone else. Two days after that person got it, they liked a more textured feel of the painting. I mean, this baby's beautiful. And she was like, I'll sell it for 200. I was like, sold. She did, all she did was did a box opening. And I'm like, so I have gotten so many babies on eBay and different sellers and people that I trust secondhand. I mean, I got a prototype, like a $1,400 prototype. And that baby, baby, I paid less than 200 I mean, the deals that I've gotten online, it's insane. So, but custom, I had a friend of mine make me a custom precious gift. I've tried to do the precious gift like three times. So the first artist, I had her make me another one because she had sold the first one. And the second one she made, it was really rad. It was nothing like her painting style or anything. And she's like, if you don't like it, I can sell it on. And she did it immediately. And I was like, I'm sorry, but it wasn't nothing. Like, she's like, I'll just make one and let me know if you like it. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like it was a custom I paid for. And then I paid my friend to do a custom and she did not have the vision I had. She put like really huge mohawk hair on this baby. I'm like, precious gift is supposed to be a newborn, not a big top. You know what I mean? Like, but another lady I know fell in love with it. And I was, she was like, will you trade? And I'm like, eh. And then um, she did, cause she heard all, I was like, I mean, I had just paid all that custom money, but she traded me, um, I think a, do a lesser value doll and then or kit or something like that and some money so it was like easier for her and I took some payments or whatever and we traded and we we're both happy. So I mean you can work it out with people. Oh I see people commenting like glove shoes. Laura's commenting you know different things so I think they're in a different position in the live not where we're at because I'm like I didn't just show the shoes <laughs> so um does anybody have any questions that you want to talk about because like we're on here chatting is there any dream scopes of yours or do you have any questions like I know I need to do if I want to do a collection video there's two reasons why I haven't I think one because people are like oh you're bragging and it's like, I've took nine years scrimping, saving, pinching, whatever, you know, not, you know, anything away from my son. He has anything and every needs, but like from something I want, you know, like not buying excess things or whatever and saving up for my own, you know, or whatever, or selling stuff of my own possessions to put toward getting one and then find, you know what I mean? So it's not like I ever, you know, like go without or don't pay a bill or something like crazy. But um, plus the video would be huge long. It would be so long. <laughs> I'd have to, have to do a couple parts, I think. Or do like, because um, I think I have like 34 or 36, just the masterpiece dolls, which, you know, those are big kids. 
And they have like their own closet. They took over my closet. I had to put in another big rod, like six feet long, going across my whole closet of their clothes. And I'm like, and I'm at the point like, okay, I wasn't going to buy anymore. And then I saw this guy and I'm like, I got to have him. And when I had that aha, I got to have it. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I'll give in at a great price. But I don't, I stopped getting them just to get them, you know, like that. It's like, put it in your watch list and think about it. And then sometimes if you lose it, you're like, you know, you're not gonna, another one will come up. You know what I mean? Unless it's that, oh my goodness feeling like we're all chasing. The one I got is Tori by Ping Lao. Mouse, I love her. I wish I could show you the pics. Lori. Um, if, do you have Instagram? If you, I can give you, I'll type in my Instagram. And you can DM me there. I share pictures of my babies there a lot. Oh, you don't. Well, my email is the same as my channel at AOL.com. And I set that up so people can email me there as well. So, but um, my Instagram, and because my Facebook I like to pretty much keep private. You know, that's like my family photos of my kids. Like, I don't put that total public unless, you know, when I get to know different reborn collectors and stuff and we're chatting and we know each other, then, you know. I'll add them on Facebook and stuff like that, you know, to chat and, and message or whatever. But, like, just to put it public, no. Because it gives, you know, Facebook gives you first and last name. It's not like, you know, it's not a username or whatever. But um, you can email me. My email is the same as my channel, sassyvtmom2009 at AOL.com. And just say, hey, it's Larry, or, or just put reborn pics or whatever in the subject. And then I know that, you know, it's, um, you have to open it. And uh, it, so it's by Ping Lao. Is she an Asian? I think that's one of the sculpts I was looking at. I love Asian babies. My Jolly, it's jo Jolie, is one of my favorites. Um, one of my most favorite babies, I'd have to say, is my Miracle by Laura Lee Eagles. Not only because it's that kit, but it is done by, it was reborn by, um, she has her hospital bracelet with the official and the COA and everything. I got her on the secondary market and she was mint, like she was, she was just done. And it was Pumpkin Patch. Is it Pumpkin Patch Nursery? The lady that was, uh, the blonde haired lady that was on my crazy obsession about making reborns. And then she's like, I don't know why the hospital stopped me from going to the nursery. <laughs> well, her babies go really high now. And I was lucky to get this baby. And I actually got that baby from Canada. The owner was in Canada. So I was really lucky with that baby. I mean, anyone else got any other? I do have some Ashton Drake babies. Um, there's one kit, two kits, two babies, not kits, but two you know, reborns that I want. And the kits are, I've been chasing after. I want a biracial, um, I can't even think of, why did I just blank on the name? It's Laura Lee Eagles too. It's a bigger baby. I, I have it in my watch list. Like if that listing ever comes up on eBay to alert me, send me an email. And Serenity by Laura Lee Eagles. So, um, also I want a Levi, that's newer, but like older ones that are hard to find. I have probably one, two, three, four, I have five Asian reborns, I think. 
couple biracials. Uh, there's three cribs and a bunch of bouncers and all that in the nursery. And now they've come over into my bedroom. So it's like I need to get those other boxes undone and maybe some uh, shelving put up for the door dolls. Because I want to keep the door dolls, I think, in their collector boxes after I unbox them, you know, out of their outer boxing. But, um, I was thinking about doing, like, a shelving unit in there, in the nursery, for all the PG dolls. Um, I need to get, like, there's one whole corner of my bedroom, like, they've took up. Like, <laughs> they are taking over. So, I'm trying to, like, I've been rearranging and redecorating everything. No, she's not Asian. She has her mouth open with her tongue. She oh, yes. The woman who reborned her made it look like teeth in her mouth. Okay. Yes, my um, my custom Saskia, I had them, uh, she sculpted him two little baby teeth in the front. Because my Saskia I had made, he kind of, first I saw in Love with the Reborns, Alexander that she made with the thick, dark hair up like a mohawk. And it reminded me of my oldest son. He has thick, dark hair when he was a baby. And it's always stuck up. We called him Don Kang Buddha. He was just chubby and just always had this hair and bright sky blue eyes and very dark hair. So when I saw the Saskia, I was like, yep. So my Saskia, I call him Sebastian, a.k.a. I call him Savvy. But, um... He has really thick, dark hair, and uh, she sculpted two little baby teeth on the bottom. So it looks like, you know, he's got little baby teeth coming in. So he was, he, I say, is my only portrait. No, I take that back. Yeah. He's my only portrait baby to look at, like, my kids. And... I have two grandchildren, and my granddaughter, when she gets old enough, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll pass him on to her and say, like, this was your dad as a baby. I don't know. But, um, it's funny. I have a couple reborns that look like ex-boyfriends at bottom, and I'm like, I don't know why. Like, I have pictures with them holding them, and it looks like them. It's odd. It's eerie. Like, some were, like, pre-made. They weren't even custom or anything. But when it comes to customs and reborns are already done, because sometimes customs don't come out like you hoped or whatever. So I really like buying reborns already done. Um, You know, unless it's, like, at affordable price. Like, sometimes on eBay they have surprise babies. But when you have a big collection, you want to make sure it's not a sculpt you already have. I do have duplicates. Like, I have two Gabriel. And it's like, to have a Gabriel when they first came out years ago. And then the second edition, the second edition of the sculpt now, has like wrinkles on the feet and stuff when it, before it just had creases. Like, it has more details. So I have like, first and second edition of the Cozy first and second edition of the Gabriel. So I have a couple twins, but to see them together, it's like night and day because two different artists, you know, rendition of that sculpt, you know, two different work. I have 11 shells of porcelain dolls and two bassinets, I thought, I almost said basements, two bassinets full of AD and PG dolls. My reborn sleep in my bed with me. I do have, um, I have a big sleigh bed, and at the foot of my bed, I keep, like, maybe eight of my favorite Reborns. I think my favorite one, I have two favorites. One is my only cuddle baby right now, but I just, I have a Bountiful Baby haul. Like, I, I got their new cuddle bodies and all that, and I have, like, two big boxes from them I need to unbox. I got some of their pre-painted kits and stuff like that, like the fawn, the pug, the pig one of the monkeys, all that. So I'm making them for the kids for Christmas and stuff because I have all those supplies and I've 
you know, weighted them and reborn them and stuff before, so. But, uh, yeah. Collections can grow fast. And then you're like, where the hell my room go? Bottles and pass pacifiers. Oh my goodness. You know, like those three drawer things, the skinnier ones? They're three pull out drawers by like Sterilite or whatever. There's like kind of like a caddy shelf. I have two of those full of pacifiers and then like bins besides that. I am a pacifier fanatic and I just recently, uh, a couple days ago, went to my favorite. Uh, it's kind of like a Mr. G's or it's a discount store, but it's called Vermont discount store or Rutland discount store. But it's, um, kind of like if something gets dented or it's sent, like a company sends it back or like Amazon returns or like one thing in a case gets dinged, they'll send the whole case there or if it didn't sell good or something like that. But they test everything electronic, whatever. And... They have, they mark pacifiers like two packs or three packs with like a passy leash for $2.99. And then they had the bonus sale where they had a sign in front of it, take another additional dollar off with bottles of pacifiers. And I just hit them again and I just got a ton of packs of all different varieties of pacifiers. So it's great for giveaways, um, happy meal, all that. So if I get duplicates, um, which I know I got to because I need to go through my past stars. That's something I remodified. My hubby shares my love of dolls and he actually buys her clothes. And a couple of AG and PGs of his own. I, it's funny, I will not date anyone. You can, uh, well, you said you don't have Instagram, but you can see on my Instagram. My ex, I would find him asleep. He, lives the next state over and he would come for the weekend or whatever. and I would be in the shower or whatever and I'd come out and he is asleep with a baby that he called his and I was like nah it was one of my it's one of my case uh Cassie Brace and he's one of my favorite babies and he's like oh he's mine and I'm like no <laughs> and he I find him like with him on his chest or whatever, sound asleep. And it's like, uh, we're going to watch a movie. Or <laughs> it's like, and I've took pictures of him. But I won't date anybody that doesn't accept my hobby. Not only accept, but, you know, we support them. And so many other things. Like, I'm into car racing and a lot of other things, too. Because I, I was raised in the country. So it's like, I relate to a lot of guy hobbies. But, um, you know, we support them. The same way they just were. I believe if you care about someone, as long as it isn't a bad thing, you know, like something that's going to harm you. Or, I mean, but we're not hurting anybody. You know what I mean? It's the same thing as guys collecting anything else. And, you know, guys collect um, uh, like my ex, he collected Harley Davis and stuff. He had a he collected Harleys like they were reborns. Like, he had, like, five bikes, four snowmobiles. I mean, he, like, three vehicles. He's, like, trading them out. Like, Shh. it's like, don't even talk to me about buying reborns. It's like, you go through more stuff. And then, like, the memorabilia stuff and leather jackets and this. And it's like, you know, we all have our things. And I would buy him stuff for his collections and stuff. So, it was like... I was like, you know, as long as if uh, the collections get too big, we'll just get a bigger house. <laughs> but, you know, I'm up front, you know, even on like, not to get personal, but I've had people approach me like trying date or like on a dating site or whatever, or fish a messenger or whatever and say, oh, you're single or whatever. And if I, I'm, you know, I'm chatting with someone. And they're like, you know, like you talk about your interest in it. I tell them straight up. I send them pictures of them and everything. It's like, tell them up front. Because if you're going to be spooked away by it, and I've been talking to this guy. And he's actually, and he paints like these 3D model sculptures of like wizardry and whatever for these. He's like, uh 
collectors, and he has an Etsy store and everything. And I was like, well, then you understand the Reborn hobby. You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, you know, he appreciates the talent and everything. So he's like, I think they're amazing. So, I mean, there is guys that aren't. And I've even had ones that say, oh, they think they're creepy. And it's like, it's not. I had a cable guy once that came in, and he's like, ma'am, your baby's not blinking. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, then he, I was like, I had to explain to him what it was. Because it was like, he was in the living room installing, then he had to go into my bedroom, and there was one like, and a, like a co-sleeper little pack and play. And <laughs> there was one in like this little portable swing, and he's like, um. And so he was holding one of the newborn ones, and he was rocking it. And he was like, oh my goodness, it's like holding my son all over again. The best one was I had an inspection for fire thing or something. Now I got a smoke alarm beeping. I'm about to change that tomorrow. <laughs> it's like first it was eBay. Now I got this thing beeping. Just started. Um, but he came in and I had, it was when I had the first floor. And he went into my, he's like, is I right to go into your bedroom? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And it was something for the landlord that they had to up their, get inspection for some code or something. And they're doing like the measurements of the bedrooms or something. And I was like, okay. So, and I'd been living there like a month and they came in to do something. And the old man comes rushing back out and he had an assistant. And he's like, get out here, get out here. And like whispering to the guy. And I'm like, what's the matter, sir? And he's like, we're, we're quiet. I don't think we woke up your twins. And the guy's like, no, there's triplets. And I'm like, no, if you look again, there's actually four. He's like, you got four babies. He thought they were real. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought he was going to wake him up. Oh, yeah. And so he walks up to the bassinet, and I'm like, I bumped, and I'm like, <gasps> the worst, I think the worst joke was I dropped one in front of somebody to freak him out, like wrapped in a blanket, and they spazzed out, and I'm like, it's only a doll. So I know, but I dropped it by accident, not on purpose, but that was kind of the worst reaction. Well, Lori, then you need to keep him as a husband. <laughs> My husband grabs Lori and hugs her, talks to her. I have pics of him holding her. He actually took one of my 80 dolls into the grocery store with us, and he was pushing her in the car. Yeah, I have outing reactions. My favorite is, um, I love, out of all my strollers, I mean, is the snap and go. Because you can just throw your car seat on it. And go right into a mall or a store or whatever. But with the out, I haven't done any outing since COVID hit. Because I'm like, how would you sterilize a reborn? You know what I mean? Like, safely. You can't just wipe them down with a baby wipe. People are like, oh, we use a water wipe. And I'm like, yeah, that's not going to sterilize it. You know, and because when you come home, you're supposed to immediately take off your clothing. You know, I put my mask in, um, a zip lingerie bag, put all my clothing into the in a plastic trash bag and put it in the laundry room so I know it's something I wore outside until I wash that load and then immediately get in the shower. So when I get home, like my son will I'll get him right in the shower. And then as soon as he's done and he's out getting dressed, I jump in. It's like we don't touch nothing. We don't sit on furniture or nothing. So it's like, how would you sterilize? And people are taking the reborns out. And I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 no. No way. Like, how would you sterilize their fabric body? Like, I'm not going to put toxic chemicals or Clorox wipes on their vinyl and paint. You know what I mean? So I've been really leery. Unless you want to take it out with like in a car seat with like a car seat canopy cover and then just wash the canopy cover I guess and then take the baby out and then spray down like the car seat but that's just like so much work I rather not but it's funny like even before this one I would take my reborns out when I got them home I would gently wipe them down with a damp cloth you know just their vinyl refresh their hair and change their clothing so I felt like they were fresh, 
You know what I mean? Because their clothes have been out and this and that. You don't want to cuddle it. You know what I mean? I always want them fresh. But I want to eat with us. The waitress got her a high chair and gave her a muffin. The waitress got the biggest kick out of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, all the money we put into Reborns, it's, it's everyone's own discretion, but me and my son have very, very, like, I after this baby got here, I had to wait a couple days, even though the, I, this woman doesn't have a coat, but, I mean, she's still a stranger to me. I have to wait a couple days to open something to make sure nothing's inside there. You know what I mean? Because they say, like, 48 hours at least. So I leave the package in my hallway, which is an enclosed private hallway. No one can get in there. You know what I mean? No one's going to touch it. And then I'll open the package. It's like, otherwise I wouldn't have handled all this barehanded and everything. But even a reborn like him, I will take him after this video, wipe him all down with water wipes, all that, and, um, you know, freshen his hair, everything, and then redress him. Yeah, and like, you can um, wipe their body gently, and, you know, not damp, but like a Lysol wipe just on their body, or, you know, something very light, sanitary on the body, let it air out overnight laying on a blanket, and then, you know, I mean, it's off of the steps I got to take, but you got to be safe. And then I'll wash all the clothing, obviously, that came in. Yeah, I use gloves, too, but it's like I didn't want to keep using my good, like, neoprene gloves. So I sent my mom to the Dollar Tree. She's been doing all, like, my errands. I've only been out seven times since March. Yeah. Literally. It's insane. But uh, because of my health problems and my son's special needs and his immune deficiencies and all that, mine, no way. I have COPD. I lost my airway uh, before, a couple months before COVID just from a common cold. And thankfully it happened in the doctor's office. I was on my second script of antibiotics and steroids and everything. Nebulizer and everything and it wasn't breaking up and I was sitting there and I went, I can't breathe and that was it and they said I passed out and it was just like this noise over and over and it's called strider attack where your airway closes you you can't move air and that's what makes that noise they had to give me kind of like epinephrine or not epinephrine uh what's an epipen but in a nebulizer called an ambulance I had to go to the hospital it was it was scary I was like nope <laughs> COVID hit I was like nope but, uh, yeah, I wear gloves, even in my mom's car, even though she's taking precautions, because she's out more than I am. Um, as soon as we leave the house, we're gloved, masks. I even use sanitizer on the gloves. Don't touch your faces. This and that. I mean, so many precautions just to go to the banking and stuff. And the, my doctors I've done virtual. And this next month, I got to come in. So, they've let me go all these months doing virtual, but then I have to go in and do. So, um, they've done special precautions like sanitize it at night. Let me or my son, because we both got to go, be the first patient in the morning. And bring us in a back private door. And so we don't go through the waiting room, none, none of that stuff. So, I mean, our doctors have been really nice to make exceptions, but... um. Everything else has been virtual. He's remote schooling. <sighs> yeah. It's like, thank God it's Friday. Um, so that takes up most of my day. Like, I have to keep him on a schedule. And then he has to have pull-out therapies. And then a separate counselor. So it's like, I got him these blue glasses. That I remember I got through FabFitFun. I was like, oh my goodness. And they're the ones, like, so you, your eyes for your screen. Because they still don't know if my son has silent seizures. And that's like from screens and all that. And it's like, you know, he can't be virtual all this time. You know what I mean? And they do they do have little breaks. But it's a, it makes for a long day. Because you got to, like, I have to watch a time. And it's uneven times. And he's got, like, 15-minute break in here. And I have to get him a snack. And it's like, I got to be right on top of it. So it's like, I'm trying to figure out how I can film. Unless I film in the evenings. 
You know what I mean? So it's been... Oh, sorry, I was just looking at... But for the gloves, um, I call them food service gloves. Let me grab them quick. It's the... You can get them at the Dollar Tree. So for my mail and packages and things like that, so because regular gloves, I've had to... only way I can get them is like Walmart.com, and they've gotten pretty expensive. I pay like 16 almost $17 for 200 of the neoprene or whatever gloves, the regular. Um, I'm in a bag right now, but you can see there. They're like just these plastic, I call them food service gloves. Because I've always, you know, hi Terry. I've always used the gloves before to, um, you know, just, Like, if we're making pigs in the blank with the dough so Jake can help or, you know, food prep, like, you don't want, you know, you just, even though you wash your hands, if you're, like, in the food, I just, I've always been, like, kind of like OCD sanitary that way about food. Um, they're great for art projects, several things, you know what I mean? So, and you get... I think it's 50 or 100 in a pack for a dollar. So, I mean, if you got to get the mail and handle packages, it's a lot cheaper. Phase, go to phase three. Phase two soon. You guys said this virtual school. I feel bad for the kids that are going. You know what I mean? I don't Tilt this a little bit so we can see him instead of looking at the same screen. I feel bad for the kids that are going. My son could never make it. Looking around a laptop all day, wearing a mask. He has asthma. He can't breathe. I bring him out. As soon as we leave from here, our house, we have to have gloves and a mask on. And... Um, until we, we return, like, even in my mom's car or anything, so, like, for out somewhere, parks in a parking lot, I, I will walk, like, way away from everybody, and just, like, pinch my mask with my gloves, after I, I sanitize my gloves, pinch my mask uh, from the outside, and just, like, pull it down, and be like, <sighs> get a gasp of fresh air, we'll put it back up, but, um, other than, like, banking, and... My mother's done like 90% of, you know, my shopping and stuff. Yeah, I use latex free too. I use, um, what are they called? The, like these, they're the, well, this is a Rite Aid brand, but nitro gloves. And I, I was lucky to find this box at my discount store. And I paid like two ninety nine. I was like, oh yeah. But I get, um, I like them extra large. Like, I'm getting these on walmart.com. And you get 100 gloves. When I used to be able to get 200, I had to pay like $16. So that's why... I mean, I use those to do, like, the cat box. Um, I use those. Uh, dye my hair. Um, if you're applying, like, uh, like when I put coconut oil on my legs or whatever after you shave, like, cold compress, you don't want that, like, all over your hands. So, like, things like that. But, um... Yeah. Just gonna wash my hands quick because I just came with that box. I need to talk to take it out for recycling in the morning. But I will sanitize. Probably put him in a bag tonight and the I know it's awful to say, but and sanitize him and of course all the clothing. Everything that came with him has to be washed. I mean, it's just Safety first, you know what I mean?
But, uh, we got those. See, we don't have, we had job lots. No, not Ocean State job lots. What did we, did we get job lots in? Yeah, I think it was job lots came in, and then I think it went out like two months later. It didn't last long, the star. Here. Like, I'm in a... I live in a valley in Vermont. Right up the road from me is, like, Killington Ski Resort. I'm surrounded by mountains. I'm in a little valley. We have our mall closed completely. This is even before COVID. Like, Bed Bath and Beyond. Or no, we still have Bed Bath and Beyond. Like, um, bed and bath, like, what is that? So, bed and bath? Yeah. Or no, not bed and bath. You know what I mean? The soaps and sprays. I can't even think of the bath. Someone type it. <laughs> you know what I mean? The bath, it's like, spray everybody goes crazy for. Hand soaps and everything. I can't even think of it. But, uh, that store, um... We had JCPenney, we had Sears, I mean, all those, every, you know, we had a huge Kmart, everything went out, the whole mall. And then, um, even like the food court, everything, everything in the mall. The mall's like a ghost town up there. I think there's like one or two tiny places that have stayed, like a little restaurant that stayed there that was up. We used to go to Samus Land in Putney, Vermont. I think where Putney, Vermont is. I've lived here all my life. I know where Pulteney is. It's around Pulteney, it's having a town line. Putney. That sounds like up toward Burlington. But, um, we have a tiny Walmart, which is called a Category C Walmart because. It only has like one little freezer, little aisle of freezer cases, no dairy, no nothing like that, no regular food, maybe three aisles of dry and canned food, um, very tiny, 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 tiny Walmart, and hardly ever, anything, never in stock, it's, it sucks, and um, so you got our Oh, it's called a city. Depends on it. And then you got many little surrounding towns. And then we get skiers and leaf peakers and all that that depend on that store. But I don't know with COVID. I don't know how much it's going to affect. I don't think it'll affect, you know, obviously people can still do maple sugaring. But our bigger economy is maple sugaring. Um, dairy farmers which we just had a dairy farm that's been open for like four generations, had to close their doors. Once school wasn't going to open, they knew schools and colleges, they could not do it. They tried to stay, they stayed open and went into debt to stay afloat. And they actually just came out with maple milk too. And then they went out of business. I was like, oh, I got maple milk. That was perfect on Sunday mornings. I, local bakery here. Oh my goodness, they have the best donuts. Like, we have all these family owned that have been for generations, you know what I mean? And then, um, it's the leaf peakers. We get, like, the buses. Normally bus loads. Like, these big Greyhound, like, they rent out these, like, big tour buses. And we get the leaf peakers for the fall foliage. And all that, and then the orchards and the apples and all that. And they normally put a wooden apple in each orchard. And it has the state of Vermont on it. If you find that, you turn, um, you don't have to give it up. But you go and claim what orchard you found it on when you're there. There's like a form you fill out. And in their capital, they're, they'll give you an iPad and this and that. So it's an extra bonus when you go, like, apple picking. And... Then of course our ski season, and then in the summer we have um, what's called the Alpine Slide, and it's like a cement slide, and you go down it. It's like so many clear curves all the way down the skiing mountain, 
but you're in it with a sled, like the sleds we used to have as kids, but it's got wheels on it, with like the brake in the middle. If you go too fast, you literally could go off the cement track. It's crazy. And you have to like take a chair lift up to the top and everything. But like, um, then like an hour from me, it's like Lake George, New York. And that's beautiful. I mean, you can do big cruises, dinner cruises, everything. So like all this has been, so like we couldn't do hardly anything this summer. We couldn't do none this summer. Uh, you know, spring, everything happened. And then my son's birthday in August. Now I can't trick or treat Halloween. Um, I have older sons and one of my sons lives with my mom, to, you know, to help her out and stuff, to be there if something happens or whatever. So they share an apartment. And well, my mom looks like my sister though. She's in her sixties. And like my son, I realized my son has not been able to hug his grandmother or his brother in seven months. Like he can see them at a six foot distance, like his birthday. And my mom's like, you, can you guys come over for Christmas? At least for a couple hours. I'm like, we can't risk it. We cannot risk coming to your house. And that's sad. Like, <laughs> so it's like a whole different kind of living. We used to go to Mountain Park. So that's why I'm trying to like do just special things with him. Like, um, you know, for Halloween, we're doing different things for Halloween. For Christmas, you know, we're just going to have to do private virtual. You know, I'll give her her gifts. She'll hear hers. I have to exchange. You know what I mean? And to be safe, she's doing mostly gift cards for us. So it's like, it's crazy. Like every little thing you don't think about in life. But I'm like, hopefully by next spring. And then you got winter. And then you're in, isolated inside most time anyways again. So it's like, we're going to go out playing the snow. <laughs> So I'm trying to plan some outings, you know, go see the Falfoyas. So I take him, like, we've done a couple trips, and I'm going to get a couple more in before, you know, falls over. Um, we go up to, like, uh, it's like a reservoir, which is, um, it's like a, it's beautiful. You can swim, fish, whatever, and there's hiking trails, everything, so it's very like remote and private so um but also there's right two houses down for us so it's close by there's like a dance studio and a daycare and after certain hours they're all closed and then like on the fourth floor or whatever of this building they have like one bedroom apartments but it's like this humongous parking lot it's two um houses down from us so i can take him there um, he has a green machine and the spin one and all that and RC cars and things. So it's like, if people come around, at least we can just go back home. It's not too far. And then, um, we have a huge, huge yard. So, I mean, and it's upkeeped. My landlord keeps it mowed and all that. So, um, I was like, you know, even if we go outside and play croquet, horseshoes, I mean, <laughs> whatever play you know your flying helicopters that you have whatever it's like get outside draw on with sidewalk anything you know what i mean just getting fresh air so um after school that's been the routine to get him some fresh air we've been starting to just go out go outside just to get air you know what i mean and some exercise and then come back in and you know have a shower and is you know that go out right right after dinner and then have his evening shower and then he can uh, get tired that way for school the next day but all right i have been on here for quite a while there's i'm thank you for everyone that came thank you for chatting i didn't expect to be on this long oh my goodness this is gonna take a long time probably all night for this to upload <laughs> but i hope you all loved him if you want to leave comments after the video is uploaded, uh, leave a comment uh, and let me know 
what do you think, boy or girl? What do you think I should name him? I just love his hair. I mean, look at the shine on that hair. Oh, I just thought the show here reminds me of his hair. His hair reminds me of... Oh, it's this little boy. He's grown now. He used to show years ago. Um... Oh my goodness, I can't think of the actor. It wasn't different strokes with the old guy that did him. <sighs> looks like a Scott. I was thinking um, Sam. He looks like a Sam. He's like, what am I, Halloween? Sam I am? Like the Grinch? <laughs> and I just popped apart my tripod. All right. Well, thank you guys. Um, good night, Lori. Good night, everybody. Uh, please like, subscribe, and look for some more giveaways upcoming and more box openings and a lot of great videos. And with that said, as usual, dolly hugs and happy hauling. Good night, all.